Express right now. Um, stopping by to get some food and then I'm gonna be going down to Houston to check out the um, fish stores down there and get some live food for my fish. So I'm stopping by Fish Gallery and one other place, um, Ocean Aquariums or something like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be checking out those places and then I will be coming back and feeding my fish. So yeah. Platinum red tail catfish here, right there. So many, so much cool stuff in here. So many cool exotic fish here. It's insane. I love this place already. That's the biggest mandarin I've ever seen. Way bigger than Claude. Oh my. That is the smallest cow. guys I got my bag so it was a good experience at fish gallery um, nice store big tanks in it and lots of selection um, it did have a smaller saltwater selection but there was plenty of fresh water they had so many koi's and all kinds of different cool stuff so yeah all right guys so I just got home and got my coral in the tank acclimating right now um, there was a hole in the bag, so I had to put a Ziploc in there. But yeah, I got this trumpet coral is what they call it. It's pretty cool. I'll have to show you in a minute. There's my clownfish. And I got some brine shrimp. It's Claude freaking out. I got the scraper in there, and he went berserk. I don't know what his problem is. Dude, the feather dusters are having a great time because I just stirred everything up. But yeah, there's Claude being a little turd. And my aptasias are kind of coming back, which is not good. Hmm. I'm not very happy about that. Alright, so here is my new coral. He's really cool. I got him for a really good price, too. He was only $35. So that is really cool. That's a good price for corals, if y'all don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. And then the bag's still in here, and then I'm going to feed my designer. It won't even eat live brine. <laughs> oh my gosh, the mandarin is eating it off the surface. He's trying to eat them. <laughs> the mandarin's smarter than the clownfish. Oh, 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 no! I don't 
don't know what to do with this clownfish. I have to go to Target and buy garlic. <laughs> Just eat your food. Even the Mandarin will eat it and he won't. Like look, even Claude is eating it. Eat it, Claude. Eat it. <gasps> he literally just say it live, Brian. Yep, yeah, this clownfish won't eat it. <laughs> like that's just messed up. You did it again. He's smart. He eats them. Guys, okay, so I'm checking out on Tico today. Here's a little brat right here. He finally started to eat, so that's good. Um Someone from Dallas North Aquarium suggested that he might be just shy, a little shy to eat right now, and said he was probably eating at night because he's not skinny, and he would have been really unhealthy if he wasn't eating anything. So one night I decided to drop some food in, and he ate it. He was like midnight and he ate it. It won't focus on him. He's a little wiggle worm. And he ate that and I started feeding more at night and then I fed him in the morning and he started to eat. And yeah, he eats like a pig now. He's still skinny though, because he swims so much. All right, I had to switch over to my phone because the camera battery died and they're mowing the lawn. And I have the door open because our air conditioning. I gotta go shut it. I'm allergic to grass, like that can't come in here. So right now I'm sick. And, bruh, I'm trying to film. They're literally right outside of our window. Anyway, our air conditioning's broken, so we've been leaving the door open because it's cooler outside than it is in our room. So, we're trying to let it flow through and everything. But Tico's doing great. He just started eating more. And, yeah. He eats like a pig. Won't focus on him because he's so tiny and wiggly. There you go. And Coral's doing good. Um, yeah, that is the coral that I got in Houston at Fish Gallery. And then the other little zoanthid I got at Rift to Reef for a really good deal. And those I've had, they're starting to look better. A mushroom. And there's Gregor. And yeah, I did a treatment on the Aptasia again yesterday. So I got some of it gone, but I still have a lot more that has to get gone. And the Mandarin. It's right there. There's Claude. I'll insert some pictures of some videos of Claude I got this morning. He looked really cool. Isn't that Claude? But yeah. Oh, look at the old guy. That is pretty much it for the video today. Um, I have to go edit this and yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to go back to Fish Gallery soon. They had lots of cool stuff and I'll also be posting like a little tour video which is kind of just like not really me talking, just going through the store. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to go subscribe to my channel. Um, really get those subscriptions. I will see you in the next one.